It's just McClure, and we are, of course, live on the big one with the phone in. How amazing is that? Friday night, nothing gets past me, 10 o'clock, and it's lovely to be with you. Tremendous stuff. Now, you can see the telephone number, so get on to the internet phone in. That's, I think, what we should be calling it, because that's what it actually is. How amazing is that? You're live on Scottish phone in. Hello? Hi, Scottish Kareem. How are uh, you? Ah, Kareem, excellent. That earlier, you might have thrown by the pop up. I was, I'll tell you how, Scotty, because I was actually I was visiting one of my friends and I said, Right, heading home, Scotty McClue's on at 10 o'clock. And then I saw a notification, like, Oh, he came on early. So I was in the car and I was, I had you on my phone in the car. So I was trying to get you on the loudspeaker, but then obviously after I phoned, just said it, there's no live calls at 10 o'clock. So 10 o'clock. <laughs> well, what I thought I'd do, can, um, I thought I'd pop up purely on YouTube, not on the other platforms, and uh, tell people yeah. that we're on at 10 and say to people, please do subscribe. Because I was talking to a great friend of mine today who's very, very big in media. And he said, Scotty, yes. the reason I've you, I'm loving what you're doing. Very kind of you. He said, no, no, don't do all that stuff. He said, you don't understand just how big this is. This is. And I said, yes. you know, well, I was thinking about advertising. And he said, no, no, these are city centers you're talking about. These are nothing. These are just wee roads. You're right across the internet. He said, you just need to get everybody out there on YouTube and Twitch and Facebook and LinkedIn knowing that it's on, said, and it will just go massive. And I said, well, I'm thinking of just calling it the internet phone. He went, well, that's what to do because you're worldwide. And it was, it was so interesting to get that feedback. And I thought, right, we need to find some way of telling everybody about it. And I need to get the people involved. Yeah. Uh, these things take time, Scott, as you know. And it will yes. take time. But it's picking up and people are enjoying it. And word of mouth and just continuously, well, what you've done tonight, you know, earlier on. And it will just, it will take time. But it will, it will definitely get there. It's just huge. And I popped up on TikTok earlier as well and did a wee TikTok and just let right. people know, do go on to the YouTube and subscribe because people get so many invitations to subscribe to YouTubes. They get yeah. weary of it. And what I'm saying to them, never, ever be weary of subscribing to Scotty McClue because then you're in at the start. Absolutely. You know, yep, I mean, absolutely. look at how you got that notification. Okay, I changed the goalposts a bit. But you got yes. that notification and you were up for that right away. Yes, yeah. You know, yeah, and it's it's, it's fantastic. And I just, it was so good of him to point out just the potential. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I thought, oh, he's changed the time, right? I better get going. I better hurry up. But no, I was fine. I was okay. It's no, we're, we're absolutely fine. And I think we will leave the weekends, Friday, Saturday, 10 o'clock. Yes. You know, because yes. I think yes. people will enjoy it. Now, Kareem. I would like your input tonight. I mean, you've maybe got something up your sleeve. I don't know. But I would love your input. Tomorrow, Glasgow's going to be bathed, apparently, in an orange walk. Yes. They didn't get to walk during the 12th of July. And um, they're walking tomorrow now. People were going, oh, there'll be about 35,000 orangemen hitting Glasgow. But the official figure seems to be about four or 5,000. <clears throat> so I'm asking the question, is this becoming something of the past? Is it on its way out? I I was reading earlier on, it was on, on social media where you get a lot of stuff from, and it took a figure, a statistic, and it was from 1981 uh -huh. that people that were part of the Orange Order were around about 160,000. Right. And if you're looking at the figures around about now, you're talking about 48,000. Right. So it is on its way out then. Yes. 
and they're saying as well the average age for people to be part of this Orange Order are around about 55. Right, so we've got under 50,000 Orangemen and yes. they're probably mainly over 55. Correct, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That well, kind of tells to, its own story, doesn't it? You know you always get the numpties that when you see this walk, they're going to join on. Yes. You know, they're not members, they're just walking, trouble. They've had a few cans, they've had a few sherbets. Oh, okay. Right. And it's the same, I think these walks are, uh, uh, I mean, if I, if I told you that story when I was younger and I got caught up with one, yes. I, I am a Celtic supporter and I had my Celtic bag. Uh, and I was not a teenage boy at the time, and I covered my bag up. There were so many people that were caring, look, did hide that bag, you'll get into trouble. And that was really nice and kind. But I would say the same as well, Scotty. Not so much as it's, um, it's not in a large scale like the Orange Walks, but the Hibernian Walk as well is the opposite side. And I think these walks just cause absolute trouble. I mean, you look at a lot of the people, and I'm, I'm not being over judgmental here but honestly some of them like they're out of jail for the day yeah just, but is there something very colorful about people very smartly dressed with their white shirts their orange ties their blue suits their poly shoes their orange sashes and their big banners saying we are the loyal 1690 brigade from this place or that place is there something and they're all playing accordions or flutes or whatever. Is there something attractive about that? I I don't know. I remember my old neighbours when I was a teenager growing up in the Merns. I know my neighbours didn't like, I mean, it's a, the Catholic Protestant divide of all are all Christian at the end of the day. Yes. Um, but the, they were too keen on my family eventually because my mum was Catholic. Um, I used to have the little boy practicing, playing the flute, etc., going up and down the path. Right. You know, I, I just, I, I think at times it's just to, to try and annoy other people when I think, ignore it, stay away from it, and they don't get what they want, which a lot, I do think, want trouble of some sort or some type of attention. Yes. And it's the exact same for the other end as well, for me anyway, I think for the habit walk the orange walks these walks should not happen however if it's a walk so that's my bunches in the background having a wee chat um if it's protests like if there's something that you're pushing for oh, I don't know, like, like independence etc you know i think these walks are peaceful the people are very respectful and there's no trouble you know you look at the big independence walks that we have well over 100,000 a couple of years ago before COVID. There was no trouble at all. How much trouble is there going to be tomorrow or in previous orange walks? Why is there trouble at all, though, if people are just walking? Well, I think it comes back to what I said about, I think a lot of these people are doing it for attention. And if something happens, it will kick off. And I just think you've got a lot of people that will join this walk as well that that probably couldn't tell you the right from the left, couldn't yes. tell you the history of the Orange <laughs> Order or anything like that, but they'll join the walk and then if anything kicks off, boom, there we go. You see, uh, people so. get their jargon mixed up. They talk about things like we're celebrating. Now, you're not celebrating, you're commemorating. And what it was, Kareem, I know we touched on this the other night, but it was two families, two royal families fighting. Because William of Orange was fighting James II. James II was his wife's father. Mm -hmm. Can you see how mad the whole thing is? I don't know, well, but Scotty, you're an educated man and you, you're wise and you talk a lot of sense. If you were to ask any questions regarding tonight to any of these Orange men or their followers, they wouldn't have a clue. No, they wouldn't have a clue at that's what I find about strange. I mean, if you're involved in something, surely you should know everything about it. Yes, yeah, I know, but I think sadly that's not the case. Maybe no. the type of people they attract, 
I, I don't know, is it the social element? Because I'm sure some of these places have pubs and bars in them and, you know, there's more... Well, I was element. once uh, taken in as a visitor just to meet somebody in an orange club and i will be honest with you i was actually very shocked by the way people were talking on the stage right you know what manner is scotty were they well they were they just just the way they were talking right. about people from the other side uh -huh. right you know okay. and i thought no I, I don't really feel comfortable with this at all yeah but that's to me is a lack of education and yes hatred that's bigotry and that, that it, it is dying down uh, I, I don't think you're going to eradicate it I, I, I think there will always be a big divide in Glasgow I think we can get the numbers right down but we will always have those numpties that are going to ruin it for the majority yes my other worry of course is that King William was a dreadful, dreadful character. He was such a shocking character I can't repeat just the kind of character he was you think many of these orange people know no. what his character No, was? they won't know a thing about it. Yeah. And he was invited over, you see, as I said the other night, to say we need a monarch that does what they're told. You see, and it was because of the wife's connection that said, why don't you and your man come over and take the throne? And he was a baddie, and he was a baddie to Scotland because he pulled his money out of the Darian scheme. And that's when the Scots all perished and died of famine out in the isthmus of Panama, where they were supposed to go to start a new world. Goodness. Well, it's, it's history, isn't it, a lot of these, these things? And I just feel if you're commemorating or celebrating or whatever you want to call it history, then you should know your history. I think we're in danger with that, though, as well, Scotty. With a, 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 I need to be careful how I word this, but when you look at a lot of these groups that want to eradicate, like the statues of our history and our past, bad news. Whether you agree with them or not, bad it's news. Still history, and there's a teaching, there's a lesson to be learned. And if you just get rid of all that, then you're not learning a lesson. Bad news. I mean, the biggest traders and slaves were very often the Africans themselves. And people don't realize that. And one of the main slaving companies, the King, did have a lot of shares in it at the time. And that's how things were done then. Now, slavery is shocking and appalling. We know that. But yep. if we're honest about it, most of the United Kingdom's wealth came from it. Mm -hmm. Again, it's, it's, it was those times, as, as terrible as it, it was, Scotty, it was just the end thing at that time. Wasn't yes. It? It's the same if you look at Glasgow. Glasgow's wealth, the city chambers, and you're inside all beautiful marble. But that was built, was it the tobacco industry? Yes, all of it, of course. The tobacco industry, yes. because Glasgow ran the whole of the tobacco industry. Do you know the Stirling Library? Yes. In the town where they've got the Duke of Wellington with the cone in his head. Uh -huh. that, that was a tobacco baron's house. Now, the old Clyde steamers in the 1860s went to America to run the blockade in the Civil War. Right. You know, and made up, made a lot of money. Right. So it's, well. it's you know, people don't realize the history. I mean, Glasgow's a very proud history. Greenock, ships, sails, wow. uh, ropes, sugar, huge, huge money in Greenock, all coming from the plantations. Cotton industry in Manchester. Was Dundee jam? I'm Dundee sure. was jam, jute, and journalism. Right. You know, right. but uh, but a lot of money coming in there as well. You know, I mean, huge stuff. St Andrews. Yep. Most of the aristocratic houses, the families had shares in these plantations. Yeah. You know, but you can't <laughs> turn around. And I'll be honest with you, Kareem. If I ran a college, say it was the McClue College, and somebody <laughs> said, you know, old McClue, he was a bit of a baddie, and some students said, yeah, let's let's change the name. I would say, hang on a minute. You're here as a McClue scholar for my great-great-great-grandfather. You won't be changing any names. Sack the student. Mm -hmm. 
If they go to the college and start saying, take down the statue of the founder of this college, sack the student. Yeah, yeah. Why go there in the first place then? Absolutely, absolutely, yes indeed. Kareem, a privilege talking to you, sir, as always. Speak to you tomorrow, Scotty. Have a good day. I look Thank forward you. to it. Have a good night. Cheers, Kareem. <laughs> what a top man, our Kareem. Very interesting. We're talking about the orange walk tonight. Do you think sectarians training this has been addressed says kevin partly king billy was gay so that makes the praise tomorrow more or less an lgbt pride march yes indeed where are we i, I can't seem to find your collar you live on scotty's phone in who's that hello oh they panicked you live on scotty's phone in who's that it's jerry Jerry, how are you, my dear fellow? Dinky do from Scotty McClure. Uh, very good. There's, there's, I've got people on here. Wait a wee minute now. They're going well said. Dinky do, my good man. May I say your beard's fantastically trimmed? All right, hen. Uh, we'll, I'll just give you a wee bit of this. Uh, can you shout out to my mate all the way from Togo? Yes, we can indeed. What is this wee chat? So we're getting huge stuff on TikTok. We're getting huge stuff on YouTube. Can you subscribe, please? Tap the bell. And can you go on to a Twitch? Scotty underscore McLuhan followers. Sorry, Jerry, if I don't do it while you're up, I can't do it because people are ringing and ringing. Uh, uh, I know that. I know that. Lovely to hear uh, you. Yes, indeed. Not what you, can we do? Not you. Very good tonight. Very good. Yes, you, you like this one? Uh, yep. Uh, as always, if I miss anything, I go back to uh, the program later on. Absolutely, absolutely, because we'll pop it up for you. And I popped up earlier on YouTube because you probably heard me say to Kareem, a very senior media guy said to me today, I had to ring you. I love what you're doing. He said, by the way, just to tip you the wink, Scotty, that will go massive. I said, are you serious? I said, because we've only got just a few folk. He said, yeah, you're two weeks old. I said, yeah, I'm aware of that. He said, I promise you it will go massive. I said, well, I'm thinking in just calling it the internet phone. And he went, absolutely. So I was just chuffed to bits because these are very senior people. Well, you put a lot of work into what you're doing. And that's a lot to do with it. Well, I don't know, Jerry. I mean, it's just what I do. Do you know what I mean? But, but you have to, uh, putting a lot, a lot of work into it. A lot of people, and um, well, uh, you know, a lot of people in media do put a lot of work into it. The, the, well, do you know what you know? I see it as, Jerry? Do you know the concept in the old days of the village blacksmith? And if you were passing his door late at night, you would see the, the fire burning and you would hear the hammer going. And I think it's a modern version of the village blacksmith. Say, so pop in and have a cup of tea with Scotty and he'll fix your poker for you or whatever, you know? <laughs> Aye, but uh, that was good. The thing is, um, uh, you mentioned earlier, and you are having a chat there with Kareem about the Orange Order. Yes. But uh, when you're, you're a small guy and uh, either a boy or a girl who was in the city of Glasgow and you enjoyed the Orange Walk. Well, it was very entertaining. Well, the music, you enjoyed the band. Yes, but and you also like to see all these people with bowler hats and blue suits and umbrellas and orange yeah. sashes. Very well, colourful. You never seen that before? No. No. So that meant that uh, when you told your parents that you were following the walk, yes, if you were Catholic, yes, you'd say, oh, you don't do that, you don't do that. But you'd watched it on television. Yes, you'd seen the Americans, they would have the parade, they were marching, the music. And you thought, oh, this is great. We'll do that. And the first thing you seen is the Orange Lodge, and you followed it, and you never saw anything of it. I've never seen any fights, but as you get older, you, it's, it's drummed into you. Oh, you don't, you don't follow them. They support King Billy. And then you mentioned there the people 
who have uh, organised these walks and everything. They don't know who King Billy was. They don't know who King Billy was. They don't realise he was brought in. He was parachuted in because they, they, they had a problem with the Stuarts and they didn't want to have, they'd had Protestant, Catholic, Catholic, Protestant. They didn't yeah. want to be run from Rome. And you can also right. see that point of view because right. Right. the Catholic Church at the time in the 14, 1500s treated the people very much as underdogs. And you can see, okay, Henry VIII actually fell out with the Pope. And I can remember taking a call on Scott FM and it was a guy who said, Scotty, I don't think Prince Charles should be allowed to be the head of the Church of England. And I said, can I ask why not? And at that time, he was, you know, just been divorced from Princess Diana. And they said, because he's an adulterer. And I said, well, can I tell you that the Church of England was set up by an adulterer for the purposes of adultery? Because that's why Henry VIII fell out with the Pope. But you had so many things raging in Europe at the time, Jerry. You had the Reformation. And what they were really saying was, do you mind? The Pope seems to pick everybody's king. The Pope does absolutely everything. He's God's representative on earth. We want to pick our own king. You see, and that's it. And even if you go back, James the second son, Charles Edward Stuart, Bonnie Prince Charlie, he's buried in the Vatican. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it's else. amazing. And the Queen Mother wow. paid to get his grave done up. So you can see uh, a lot of uh, people who follow, of course, the. Uh, you know, these walks. Yeah, they um, won't they won't know any of that, Jerry. No, no. But can I say well, I was uh, DJing in a pub in uh, Glasgow and it was a uh, an orange hall. Uh huh. But the person came up, a woman, and I knew her personally. And I thought she was going to ask for a record. But she says to me, You're a Catholic. What are you doing in here? And I says, I'm working. I but I says I but nothing. I but nothing. You just paid me money. You yes. just paid me money. And that's the reason why I'm here. I'm not here for the religion side of it. But it just shows you. It just shows you and, and I mean my my answer always is no, I'm a Christian. I, and I, see if I, you I, ask somebody if you go, What religion is the Pope? They go, Oh, he's a Catholic. I, I said, No, he's not, he's a Christian. That's his denomination. I, also that they're uh, trying to ban these walks. I don't say that we should ban them, but maybe police them a bit better. And I know that's not as easy in pubs and clubs. Yeah. But um, and then we, we go back to the way the policing is right at this minute and it's all to do with money. And it's really, really hard. Very hard. So, it's very tough at the yeah. moment. But this is why I'm saying tomorrow is it actually coming to an end and uh, Kareem's just told us that there's something like less than 50,000 orgemen around nowadays and most of them are 55 plus. Well, I've just read a couple of things back to the conversation there, but people agree and people won't agree, but that's the whole thing, isn't it? Of course it is. Jerry! I don't disagree. No, I don't. Jerry, it would be a very dull world if we were all the same, but I'm just trying uh, to get a take on it. And these are things that people say, oh, you can't discuss that. I say, newsflash, we can. That's it. And that's what I like about this program. And this, you know, uh, we, we can. And I'll tell you yeah. something else, my dear brother. Um, right? And, and <laughs> yeah. I, dear yeah, my dear brother, and I'll tell you this that I think is amazing. You love that, don't you, my dear brother? <laughs> and uh, you're, you're tickled pink now, absolutely. You're away with it. But um, no, I'll tell you what's very, very interesting. A lady phoned me at Scott FM and she says, Scotty, son, I'm Catholic and I love the orange music. Let them walk. <laughs> and then another boy phoned and he says, Scotty, 
you must let the onsmen walk. And I said, why do you say that? He says, because it's the only way they'll get a good wash. <laughs> well, there you go. You mentioned there, uh, oh, brother, who was in that programme? Who started that programme? Oh, oh, brother, oh, that was brilliant. I'll tell you who was in that. William Mervyn was the bishop. Derek Nimmo was Newt, who was the the curate, and the old um, the old um, dean was a lovely old actor called Robertson Hare, and he was the one that used to go, "Oh calamity, calamity, bishop!" And the bishop would say, "Henry, would you like a sherry?" Oh, thank you, bishop. Derek Nemo had that lovely sort of yes, absolutely. Yeah. And they were just so clerical. And it was called Oh Brother. It was brilliant. That was brilliant. Oh brother. Oh brother. Just a nice wee bit of British comedy that we don't do nowadays because half witted idiots go, Oh, that's old hat. I told you, I told you, Jerry, I said to a top media guy, I said, if I went on here tonight, would the audience come back? Because it's 30 years since I started. He went, instant. So that puts it all in proportion. All this, the world has changed. Everything's changed. Everything's changed. Yeah, but Pop's got him a clue on the radio, the television, the internet. Dinky doo. Oh brother! Oh Good brother! Night. I'll see you later. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. What a top man! That's our Jerry up for a bit of chat. Uh, we're very busy with the phone calls. I'm trying to read out your comments. Give us a call as soon as you can. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Welcome to all our TikTokers. Who's that? Hello. Hello. Who's that? Ah, how are we doing, matey? Don't you start me. Don't you start on me, matey. I'll tell you. How did you manage to get this number, matey? You, you shut your mouth. I've just landed on Echo Golf, Papa Golf. Echo Papa Golf. I'll tell you something. Don't, 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 don't have stupid, boring conversation. A very interesting conversation. You're just too stupid to understand it. Uh -huh. Now that's you told. That's you told. Good and proper. Don't you ever tell me to shut my gob on my show. Or you'll be going doon the swanee. Very interesting I, call. Ah, rubbish. I'll tell you, I'll tell you though, the best, the best reply was that you said that Pope was a Christian. That's That's fantastic. correct. People say when you say what religion is his holiness, the Pope, they go, he's a Catholic. So no, he's a Christian. Praise <laughs> to the holiest in the height. Praise to the holiest in the height. And in the depth be praised, in all his works most wonderful, most sure in all his ways. Aha, uh -huh. you know yourself, buddy. What about I Edward Elgar's? Praise to the holiest in the heart. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. mm, in the listen, depth buddy. be praised. Catch up to do, right? We have. I think I know who you are. Are you the world's finest organist? Have you been at the Albert Hall? Carnegie as well. The Carnegie Hall. How wonderful! Yes. Now, now listen. We've got uh, the. Um, I've got your number, buddy. And, how did you uh, get my number? Well, just. Shut your gob just now. Oh, shut my you gob. Don't you tell me to that shut my gob in my show. Well, well, you need to smarten up your chat, matey. Let's, 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 no, just, just do what you 
Tremendous you need to cam it right down. Now, listen, listen, listen. There's somebody saying, God save the Queen. Remember you on Scott FM? Yes. Um, we've got lots and lots of memories from people that um, used to call you in between ten and one o'clock. Yes. And uh, we we had some wonderful calls. I've got a lot of people who I remember calling you, and um, you know, it was the, the ten the ten uh, best favourable quotes. Yes. Um, that you used to say, and um, did you do? Uh, the, the the YouTube videos, <sighs> they were wonderful. They were wonderful. The, Seventeen hundred the, videos on YouTube from Scotty McClure. Well, I'll bet you when I'm not here, they will go through the roof, ballistic. Well, I I I, I don't want to float your boat. Okay, no, so just shut your gob just now. Shut your gob. But, don't uh, you tell me to shut. Why don't you shut your gob and let me talk? Why don't no, just, just you yes. shut your gob just now? Because I'm trying to tell you about how many people love your videos. Um, Do you know that shut your gob is not actually no, rude? Don't you, listen, Do you know it's not shut, rude? Shut, it's not rude to tell somebody to shut their gob. Do you know what your gob is? Your gob is your big mouth. Buddy. Yes, and it's called your gob because you used to cut your meat into gob-sized pieces called gobos, and you put them in your gob. Well, it just, just so it's not actually rude. So you thought you were being cheeky to me, but you actually went. Well, you failed. Something. You failed the cheek test. All you've Thank done you. is used an... A very ancient Tudor phrase. I will relinquish and um, yes, I accept that. There you are. Sometimes you, but, but just, but just, just sometimes I've got to tell you that you are you you're fantastic. Um, people are always tuning in to you, and uh, they, they listen to the YouTube channels. Um, but sometimes you've got to just understand, buddy. That uh, you know, but tell me this, buddy. How do we get? We used to have quarter of a million people every half hour on the radio. How do we get quarter of a million people every half hour on the internet? We need to build it. Recognition, that's the word. Recognition. So we need to get the word out there. There's Akil who says he's being rude and nice at the same time. That's you. Stop. That's Akil on TikTok. We've got TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, no, no, no. and Tell Facebook. Him shut his gob. Tell him to shut his gob. He can't be trusted. Akil, this man's telling you to shut your gob. He can't be trusted to sit right, his right, right round the lavatory. Can't, can't be trusted sit. to sit the right way round on the levee. Right, okay. Now, now listen to me, buddy. Right, buddy. I, 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 your gob just now, okay? There's 68 I, bin man talking to me on TikTok. Tell uh, Jekyll and Hyde to behave, says Kulelio. Listen, less, less of that TikTok stuff. TikTok's brilliant. They're on. They're live on TikTok right now. Dinky do every no, day. No, no, right, 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 right. We're also on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, LinkedIn. I came in. I came in on Echo Bravo Papa Charlie. Echo One Bravo, Papa Charlie, Charlie, you're clear for land name? Five. Yes. I was, I come in Echo Bravo, uh, Charlie Papa, November 2-5. Yes, indeed. Departure. And did you touch I, down? I touched down, yes. It was a very, very, very slow manoeuvre. It, it was wonderful. It was a good, good soft touchdown. Um, Somebody has just and, said they are not scared by juvenile delinquents from Dundee. They think no. you're from Dundee. That's the man, that's Akil, that you've just told to shut his gob. No, you tell him to shut his gob. You right. tell him to shut his gob. Right. Well, I'm not no. telling him to shut his gob because he's, he's I, a good man. I don't have a lot of time just now, buddy boy. Because I've got well, you better time. hurry up and make your point, matey. Right. Just just you tell the, the customers, the, the people, to smarten up their chat because I was bored. I was bored. I right, was well, we don't want you bored, matey. No, don't you call me matey. Don't 
tell me this, meaty. Tell me this, meaty. Do you still have your Schloss in Germany? I heard you had a Schloss with one of the world's biggest organs. Do you have? Do you have one of the world's biggest organs? Yes. yes. There you are now. Right, now you just you shut your gob. You so shut I your gob know. while I tell the nation about your big organ. You told me. I told you about the Shons Elise. Yes. Well, Shons Elise. I, I had the Paris um, the Mont and the Shons Elise, and I, I also had the Schloss in Germany. Germany, you have a Schloss. Right, so you listen. You pin back your ears, buddy, and you get some recognition from me because I'm going to be phoning you soon before uh, the, all this and that uh, you have to start educating yourself. Right, buddy. two seconds, matey. Can everybody watching this phone in now share with every platform possible right this second? Massive, massive share now. Thank you. Sorry, matey. Um, I am just at my one of my organs just now. Uh, 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 now you can't uh, give us you can't give us a tune that's copyrighted, so it would have to be just some old hymn. The old hundreds. Fine. All people that on earth do dwell sing to the Lord with cheerful voice. Yeah. His praise forth tell, come ye before him and rejoice. Oh, yeah. oh enter then his gates with praise. I don't know if you heard that. Also. I heard that. That was beautiful on your organ. Right. Uh, apparently, everyone, Kalelio has just said that you're more boring than the last guy. You're a crashing boar, so we'll cut you off. I'm going to cut you off, matey. You're only allowed two calls a night. You've had one life. Excuse me, I will be calling you back. Don't you dip No more of your nonsense, matey man. Dinky do. He's gone. There we are. That's what we do, people. Now, let me talk here to people. Um, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Love watching your show, Scotty. Good evening, Scotty. Won a competition today, says Nationwide Coin Hunt, for a trip on the Jacobite steam train. I love it. Matey Boy is on. Scotty, how many people do you think tune in and actually listen to talk radio tonight? How do you find out the real figures? Well, we don't know. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hey, Scotty. It's me, Glenn. Oh, Glenn. Didn't you oh. do? Woo! That was just a great call. It's some call, wasn't it? I'll tell you, I think the word's getting out there. I told you the media man today said, Scotty, this is massive. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You had him, you had him right where you wanted him that last call. Uh. Is that you going on in the background there? No, it's not Scotty. No, I don't think so. wonder what that is. Right, now. Yes, it's quality, it's quality tonight, Glenn. I think he tried to challenge you a bit there. Right? He was trying to challenge us, and, and he was trying to take us away from the subject because we're talking about the Orange Lodge. Glasgow's oh, yeah. about to be besieged by Orangemen. Right. They couldn't walk on the 12th of July, so they're yeah. apparently coming to Glasgow, and we're asking the question, is the Orange Lodge on its way out? Is it dying okay. off? Well, what we found out was 160,000 orangemen about right. 30, 40 years ago. That's now become 48,000 orangemen, and yeah. they're mainly over 55. Right. So that sounds like it's dying out. It's, it's a passionate thing, I suppose, for, for Scotland going out. Talk, Scottish TikToker on okay. right on TikTok says no way, never. I mean, just keep it going in generations, really, isn't it? Really, I think to be honest. Yeah. If uh, if it's something you feel passionate about. There's Akil saying, "I vow to thee, my country." Do you think protests are uh, a 
are good in, in reason then, Sky. Well, it's interesting. I don't I, I agree with people's right to protest. Yeah. I think what happens a bit like our quality phone ins, the idiots find it and come on. Yeah, and they are yeah. trolling. So I think on uh, a lot of demonstrations you get trolls who goes, let's yeah. go along and cause trouble for these people. It's some, sometimes it is a passionate thing, though, isn't it, what people don't believe in? Well, yes, I mean, absolutely. If you think, I want to live in a world, I want my children to live in a world without nuclear weapons, and then you think, but do you also want your children to live in a world where they could be blown away by someone else? Put yourself out there and make, make your voice count, isn't it, really? You know, it's all that, isn't it? You, you, if you don't stand up for your rights, then... What is the point, to be honest? And we've got a lot of rights these days, but we feel like we've got none. That we, we, we just are we afraid of authority? Well, we well we are because there's been so much authority with the pandemic. Goes in. By the way, you can't go out your house, or the police well, will get you. And if you're seen in a shop without your face covered, you'll be arrested. All these kind of things. So people start to panic. You just you just do what. But you feel right, don't you? And yeah, people get into a climate of fear. And this is one of the reasons why we don't discuss anything to do with the pandemic on here because we want something different. I mean, you just respect everybody around you, do what you do, and just get on with it, isn't it really? That's what it's about. You, you, you can't. Add in a bubble, can you? Guys, can everybody on TikTok think, start following? Can everybody subscribe I think on YouTube? I think the best thing for people to come forward anyway is just keep going and just stay positive, really, Sky. Keep going and stay positive, my well, boy. March I mean, on, I say. If, uh, if, you, if you dwell on things, then you're never going to go forward to your life, no. your life, are you? No, you've got to move on, and I'm just delighted that we've been a couple of weeks doing this, and everybody's starting to pick up on it. Yeah, definitely, I think it'll, it'll only get better. If we get everybody sharing at the one time, share and share and share and subscribe and follow it's and not. share, then we'll win. It's only going to pick up as time goes along, and it's only going to progress, in it? Well, it'll Glenn, progress. what's not to like? You've heard it tonight, and full flow. Scotty, we've heard it before, haven't we? We've heard it for years. Dickie, too. McLeod's back. Scotty, you've never been gone, have you? We've never been gone, love. You, you, you can still find you wherever you are, are you? Yeah, you can always get McLeod. And as, as one of my mates said on social media, he says, Scotty, you'll be broadcasting anybody anyway, whether anyone's listening or not. Exactly. It's a, like I said, you're a credit to... Everything you do. Well, do you know the way I'm going to let you into secret? Do you know what I'm really looking at here, Glenn? If you were a priest or a vicar or a minister of religion and you had an hour's service during the week and you, you got a couple of hundred people turning up, you'd be beside yourself, wouldn't you? I definitely would, yeah. You know? People say, excuse me, Father, who came to Mass tonight? Is it over 200? Get away! Uh -huh. For I have said, get away. You're a minister of the internet, Scotty, are you? The minister of the internet, didn't you do? First law to the internet. Exactly. Hey, I'm oh, going to have to dash, La. Don't think Scotty. I don't love you. Nice one, Scotty. Love you anyway. Top man. Scotty, love you I, lots. I like your car behind there anyway, you know, your black car. Do you like the old P38? It's actually what dark green. Yeah. And did you see the videos on TikTok with the detail? I mean, yeah. Wow. Are you still drive that then? Eh? Have we still got that one? No, no, she's gone far too old. I had her for yeah. 20, 21 years. Call her a mileage. Uh, yeah, 200 and, uh, 209,000 on her. And I got yeah. a call from the old mate that runs the garage that was M.O. Tina. And he goes, uh, Are you, can you come down just now? I said, yeah, he said, can you come now? And I went down and he said, right. And he gets inspection lamp. He goes, yeah. Right, see this here. He said, we can't do out about that. I said, oh, dear. He said, it looks like bad news then. He went, yeah, end it road. So you've still got it, you've still got it in storage then? Uh... No, no, end it road, end it road. Oh, I just got... Yeah, she had to go. 
209,000 miles. It's got the e-bag gum lad, isn't it? E-bag gum. Now that's a proper Yorkshireman, isn't it? No, you are, you are a proper York, Yorkshireman. I'm the only honorary Yorkshireman in the world. You're a proper Yorkshireman. Proper Yorkshire. You're a, you're a Yorkshireman. It makes me laugh when I'm in the pub in Yorkshire. They all go, ah, he's proper Yorkshire. He's Scott Eagle. He's, he's a Scotsman. No, no, he just puts that on. I, I reckon you were just hiding behind the Yorkshire persona all along, Scott. He's a Yorkshire lad. 100%. Hey, I love the dinky do. Nice one, love this guy. Take it easy. See the lot. See the dinky do lot. There we are. That's our Glenn. To the telephones as quick as possible. Let me read. You tell him, Scotty, says D. Scotty, many people do you think tune in? Matey boy is on, says Numpty Heat. The Pope's attending COP26. There we are. But he's Bartry holding a big mass. Love watching your show, Scotty. Thank you, Mr. Goatface. Uh, what have we got here? The best one was the mad woman that you were arguing with, Scotty. Ronnie, you must be at that funny age if you remember old brother. Jerry, I've always been at a funny age. Brilliant, Scotty, says Terry. The numbers are going up. I'm sure the numbers will explode, just like Alex Belfields did. Wow, Jim. He's a character, is Scotty. Uh, oh, quoting Stephen Fry, matey boy. There we go, wonderful. <coughs> James says, has this guy been on the swally? James, are you walking tomorrow? Are you going along to see the parades? If you ask me, he's the world's biggest organ, says Ronnie. I'm not sure yet, Gordon, see if the weather does. Gordon Robertson, lovely to have you with us. Same here. I love watching the parades and the bands. Now, guys, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome, a particularly warm welcome to our lovely TikTokers who have joined us tonight. Amazing stuff. Thank you very much for all these wonderful things. Now, who else have I got? Uh, lots and lots of you here. The Orange Lodge, nothing but old bigots. Now, center point, you need to qualify that. What do you mean by the word bigot? I hear these words and I say, you need to tell us what you mean. If you've just joined us, you're watching on TikTok, you're watching on YouTube, can you subscribe and tap the bell? Because this is going to go very, very big and you need to be part of it. So if you haven't subscribed on YouTube, don't dilly-dally, get on and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue, follow me. Because I had two followers last week, I've now got 66. There we are. So that's that. It will never die, mate, says the Scottish TikTokers. Men with oranges, dinky-do. <coughs> it's passed down the generation. Yeah, but it's nearly dying out if we're down to 48,000. Orange men, I ask you. Me too, brother. Dinky you do, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Uh, do you like Terry's chocolate oranges? Uh, yes, because the doctor told me to eat more fruit. Fantastic. Right, there we go. Now, who have we got here? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, uh, Scotty. Listen, I'm, uh, it's Professor Numpteed. Professor Numpteed, what are you doing on my phone in? We're busy. I know you're very busy, but listen, I want to congratulate you. What for? For having a successful phone in. <laughs> That's and, and because of you and your generosity. Well, what do you think? Does this sound right? Uh, McClure's phone and brought to you by the Numpty Heads. Brought to you by the Numpty Heads. How amazing is that? I'll tell yeah. you, did you hear me uh, saying about talking to the big media guy today? Absolutely. And he's, he's right up for this. He went, I love what you're doing. And so do we, Scott. And I said, what, what do you love about it? I need to know. You need to tell me more. He said, look. You're up there. You've got your um, your captions are up. He says everybody's watching you. That's what it's about. Absolutely. Now then, listen. It's good to hear Matey Boy back on the phones. Matey Boy's mad as a hatter. And uh, the thing is, Scotty, I agree with the one thing that he was saying. He's an organist. Aye, but do you know what I agree? 
the only truth that comes with his missus when he tells you to shut your gob. I shut your gob, but did you absolutely. like the fact that that's not actually rude? Yeah, absolutely, because you get gob stoppers, Scotty. They're invented for you. I bet you've had a few of them in your time. Oh, absolutely. Now then. There you yeah, go. Right. What other rubbish are you going to come up with, right? Do you know that we've only got another 10 minutes left? And you're wasting time. I'm going to cut you right off there. We've had enough of your nonsense. So there we are. Old brother was a wee bit middle class, along with to the manor born Terry and June. But I could watch them. Jerry, don't pretend you're not a wee bit middle class. I've heard you speaking. So there we are. Wolfgang, says David Taylor. Yep, same here, Gordon. Makes me so proud to be British and Scottish. Well, James. Being British is really just being part of a landmass. It doesn't mean anything else. And the Scottish crown comes under, both both crowns come under the same monarch. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? The day thou gavest, Lord, has ended. The darkness falls at thy behest. Just one little phrase before I depart. Yes. Boy. Yes. The day thou leavest, God has ended. I will shall give you a little tune uh, on the wonderful two manual um, Willis. Oh uh, wow! Sitting just now. Are you at the Father Willis? I'm at the Father <laughs> Willis just now. Have you got your Father I, Willis in your hands? I do have my. I have a two manual and pedal. Uh, Sixteen and four foot bourdon on the grate just now. You can't and beat uh, your sixteen foot bourdon. You can't beat. How is your diapason? Now, just pin, pin back your lugs. Just pin now, back like your me. lugs. Shut your gob. All that stuff. And I will just give you just one little phrase just before we depart because I know how busy you are just now. Yes. And um. I think we shall. I played at the funeral of a wonderful priest today ah. um, from Cambodia. Um, <laughs> God rest his soul. He was buried in St. Patrick's Cemetery in Holy Town in Bells Hill. I say, uh, yes. I say, God rest his soul as well. Yes, he was wonderful. What, 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 yes, indeed. Uh, what, wonderful African priest who gave. In nomine uh, Patris et Fie Spiriti Sanctus. Kyrie Eleison. And, Another uh, home. One, one, one little, um, uh, you, you will know this one. Um, Scotty, are you on standby just now? I'm on standby. Off you go. Okay, two minutes. Okay, I will just give you a little one little uh, clip just now um, of the um, of the music that we processed. Um, Can you just uh, before we do this, I'm going to have to say goodbye to the TikTokers. Yes, so just a second. TikTokers, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed being with you. There's a Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo. There's our TikTokers are off to Bobo's. Now, right, right, matey boy. Okay, I will get you this last couple of bars. Yes. I'm sure you will to um, tell me what it is. Just let me just play the thing for you, matey boy. Just yes. Just your ears back. Yes, matey boy. Okay, just wait a minute, okay. Go on, matey boy, no problem at all. Absolutely no. beautiful. You would not know what that was called. Yes, of you. course I would know that. Yes, indeed. No. Uh, you knew that. Of oh. course I do. The response is... Pia Yesu. Pia Yesu. Domine. Dominum. Uh, right, right. Just, just listen, you buddy boy. Right. 
I'm going to, I will be phoning you uh, anytime soon. You've got to pin your back, legs back, and you just need to make sure that you've got to get other people to come on. Yes. Make sure that they understand the quality of my calls. Yes. People won't know that. I think you need to stick your tongue out and say ta ta. No, 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 no. Ta No, no. Ta ta. Kyrie eleison. The Lord be with you and also with you. And with your spirit, Padre. Absolutely. Amen. The Mass has uh, ended. Go in peace. To love and to the Lord. Sanctus, sanctus, sanctus. Sanctus, sanctus. There we are. That's Matey Boy. He's off skate. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Right, they seem to have gone. We can't hear a thing. Fender says, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Wonderful. Hello, Catherine, says TJ. Thank you, James, says Gordon. Scotty, who's this matey guy, says Kareem. Van Orange Walks, Parasites. Where are you getting that from? You're live with Scotty's phone in, who's that? Hi, Scotty, it's me, Glenn again. Hey, uh, Glenn, dinky do. Fantastic. Who's brilliant, that guy? What's it been like tonight? Fantastic. You and him, so yeah. Never a dull moment. You were, I can't believe how good that call was, you and him. Wait a minute, what about this? A wee bit nasty remarks which we don't want about Orange Walks. Yes, well, quite right. Scotty people have got to uh, respect some of the opinions over there. Yes, Glenn, you've just written to me here and you said, Scotty, are you going to the parade? Yeah, you're going, Scotty. Ronnie says, great show tonight, says Kareem. I'm watching on YouTube, says Ronnie. Are you going to the parade? Uh... Uh, no, I don't think I'll be going. I, I might have a look on the telly if it's on the telly. It'll be on, the, it'll be on mainstream, won't it? Yeah. You know, yeah, well, you would also, you don't know, though, actually. It depends on who's editing it and going, no, I don't think we want to cover that. You see? Yes, I mean, you've got different different people nowadays. Here's somebody in Tenerife. Good show tonight, says Susan Shaw. No problem, Ronnie. They're all on here, Glenn. We'll definitely find a way to get this show better along with any. Hey, we'll get it on there. I'll tell you, do you know how much time we've got left? Less than Seven two minutes. Minutes, guy. I'm going to say dinky do to the Elan. Have a good have night. A good, have a good weekend. And all stuff hey, and we'll catch right. you tomorrow night, Glenn. No, take it easy, man. Take it easy, la. Love you lots. There he goes. To the telephones as quickly as possible. We're very tight for time. Uh, good night, sir. Have a peaceful good night, says D. Lovely. Thank you guys for watching tonight. Thank you for your brilliant comments. A very, very interesting subject. Is the Orange Lodge on its way out? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Mr. Nobody. <laughs> Somebody trying out the lights to see how busy. Is this on every night? Sue, it's on Monday to Thursday, 9 o'clock till 10 o'clock. And then it's on, hang on a minute, it's on Monday night uh, till Thursday night, yeah. And uh, we've got it on from 9 o'clock till 10 o'clock. And then it's on on a Friday and a Saturday from 10 o'clock sharp till 11. So we finish in about one minute. In terrible. Tomorrow at 10, says Jim Cook. Yes, absolutely, Jim. It will be a privilege and a pleasure. Good night, says D. Yes, you two so speak tomorrow. Well said, Scotty to Meaty. Ah, we just told Meaty straight, didn't we? Next time this bark phones, for goodness sake, blank em, says Ronnie. Which bark are you talking about, Ronnie? We've had one or two on tonight. I can tell you. Do come and join us as soon as you possibly can. Lots to talk about. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Yes, it's Jen again for one. More question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The question is, when you retire, 
Who takes your chair? Well, I won't be retiring until sometime in the next 35 years. Can we <laughs> worry about it tomorrow? Well, I'm thinking about I'm, I'm thinking about you, I'm perhaps. I think I'll apply for the job. I think you most definitely should. <laughs> Definitely. Stick your tongue out and say ta ta. Ta ra. Ta la. That's it, folks. We're out of time. I'm going to have to dash Scotty McClure saying dinky doo to every single one of you. Love you lots. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.